In this video, we will cover how to rebuild trim rams on a dual prop stern drive. Using this method, the rams or the drive do not need to be removed from the boat. First, we will use a jack to support the drive since we will be disconnecting the rams. Only apply slight pressure to not damage the drive. Next, remove the cotter pin securing the trim rams. You can grab the cotter pin with pliers and use a hammer to remove them easily. Now remove the pin that is holding the trim ram to the drive. To fully disconnect the ram, you can either jack up the drive or retract the trim ram slightly. Using a pin wrench, remove the trim ram cap. Oftentimes these are seized and will take penetrating oil or heat to remove. Also make sure to have a bucket in place to catch the oil or hydraulic fluid that leaks out. Using a vise, secure the trim shaft like shown and remove the piston bolt. Make sure to keep this assembly upright as the spring and check balls can fall out. Remove the cap from the shaft. In our case, we need to clean the shafts for marine growth. We will wrap the shaft with electrical tape to protect it from the cleaning process. Using a wire wheel, we can remove the marine growth. This cleaning will keep the new seals from leaking or damage. In our case, we are replacing the trim ram caps. These caps come pre-assembled with new seals. Make sure to lubricate the new trim cap seals before assembly. In our case, the internal seals did not need replaced, but now would be a good time to do so. Reinstall the piston and securing bolt. Now back at the boat, we can reinstall the piston and shaft into the trim housing. Hand tighten the trim ram cap. Now using the pin wrench, tighten the trim cap fully. Now we can re-secure the trim ram to the drive using the securing pin. Reinstall the cotter pin. If the old cotter pin is too far damaged, replace with a new stainless cotter pin. Now bend the ears of the cotter pin. Make sure the trim pump reservoir is full before doing this. To bleed the air out of the system, you will need to operate the drive up and down at least three to five times until you stop hearing air in the system. Make sure to pause between each up and down cycle to not burn out the trim pump. Check for leaks and then top off the trim pump. 